Hello everyone and welcome to Nathan Hart Music. Today is lesson two in the Band Lab um, Studio series. Um, today we're going to look at creating a beat using the beat maker software that is available on Band Lab. Um, if you just come across this video and you've not looked at the previous, I recommend doing that. The link for the video will be in the description below and will be available to access uh, through the YouTube playlist. Can I also ask that you give this video a like and a subscribe for more future content on Band Lab, Sound Asian, Sound Trap and other th uh, free mu uh, music software. Okay, so as you can see here, it says new project. Up here, this is what I created um, in the last lesson. So it's just a nice saved version. Uh, if you click on create at the top right. Okay, what we need to do is we need to select drum machine. Okay, so you get the new track list and you've got instruments, voice, etc., etc. Click drum machine. And you will notice that we get greeted to this, okay? So you've got our drum machine here, and it says patterns A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then you've got the play button, and so on and so forth. So what I want to do is I want to just get rid of everything that is currently in this pad. So this is pattern A, okay? So I'm just going to get rid of all of these different things. Okay, and there we go. So we're going to be working at a BPM of 120 today, um, just to mix things up from the previous music. So if you go on to the left bit here, it says Instrument 808 Kit, and press the down arrow, you will see you've got drum kits, you've got all sorts of things here. You've got lo-fi, hip-hop, pop rock, reggae, rock, etc. Funk kit, you can go on uh, down to drum pads, and then you've got glitch style, electro pop. Uh, drum and bass, you've got 808, 909, etc, etc, etc. So there's a lot of different kits that you can play about with. We're going to go for one of the classic kit sounds, which is the 808 for this session. So for those of you that aren't sure, a uh, drum machine is there to replicate a drummer. Now one of the most common aspects of a drummer is that their kick is going to be on one and three. So if you look here, you've got uh, your box, you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The greys are indicating two and four. Uh, they say the grey, the darker greys, I should say, are indicating beats two and four. Um, and no, that's not correct. Sorry, my apologies. The so you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if I put a bass on each of those and press play. Notice that beat A is giving me a nice kick drum pattern, okay? So you'll notice now that up here, we've got drum machine A, and it says A, 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 and then it says B, 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 B. So if I get rid of the instrument for a second and press play here, you'll notice that the drum beat is playing there. Now when it goes over to B, as you can imagine, it's gonna change, okay, to the other drum beat. So if I wanna bring that up, I click instrument at the bottom left, Okay, and it's already taken me to pattern B, which it has just been playing. So what I'm going to do is pattern A is keep it there with just the kicks. So pattern B, again, we're just going to take all of these different things away. We're going to keep it on 808 kit. So these are our bars of four. My apologies for earlier. It's not um, the, the darker gray is two and four. Um, it's just that they are that way um, on this thing. So what I want to do, I'm going to add a sub kick. That's what that sound is. And when you put those together, the again is the sub bass kick in there. So if you ever listen to dance music, there's a lot of sub bass in there, okay? So we've got a snare here, which is our F. So if you press F on your keyboard, that is your snare. Y your tom, T your small tom, hi hat, open the hi hat, and then finally a crash. So Snares normally go on the second grid in the first beat. So if you listen, this doesn't have to strictly stay this way, just to clarify. You can um, mix this up, that's absolutely fine. Um, so I want to put in a hi hat. Now, on hi hats, I like to put them in on one and three in each box, and that will give you a very basic kind of drum beat. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you have heard this beat many, many times in your life. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is actually change it so we've got an open hi-hat there. Okay, 
So again, still on the three, just makes it sound more natural because in music you tend to have the hi-hat come open from a drummer, just to add something a bit different, okay? So I'm also going to add in a cymbal on one there. So now we've got this sound. Okay, good work, but I'm going to take that out for now. That's going to be drum beat B. Okay, so now what we've got, if we play the whole thing together, if I remove instrument. Okay, excellent. So what I want to do now is, as we did in the previous lesson, look at the band lab sounds that are available to us. Okay, now this is too fast for low uh, fire, so I'm going to go to loops up here again, and I'm going to go to the genre of electronic. Okay, and I'm going to see if any of them are quite close to what we've got here. Got a lot in 100, 160, 136, and we're currently on 120. Uh, that's a snare. So let's first of all get a bass. So I'm on bass on electronic. Okay, so what I want to do is find anything for now that kind of works. So let's look around the 130 mark. It's got a bass up. That sounds more like it. So we've got like a bit of a funky dance. We're gonna go C minor, set it. And again, as it does, it's converting it so that it should, in theory, work with what we uh, currently have. So I'm just gonna play it from the beginning. Uh, uh, sorry, from beats five onwards, just so that we can hear the bass alongside the drum kit that we've created. <laughs> Okay, so it's not quite in. Better. It's quite nice because we've put our end drum in. So now what I want to do, we've had bass, so let's find something a bit different. Again, we'll look for a lead, see if we can find a lead in C minor, just to give us something that works along it. Let's make sure it's in the right place. Go, okay, and we'll have to loop this one. It's there. Now let's have a listen. So there is something nice. So if you go back up to the drum machine again and you click on the instrument at the bottom left, it will come up. Then if you go to pattern C, you can create another uh, new pattern and so on and so forth. So really, the great thing about this is you can create your own drum beats, put them with band lab sounds, and you've got your own little funky world available to you that you can create. Obviously, suits any genre. So thank you very much guys for checking out this video. Um, if you liked it, please give us a like and subscribe. Please get ready for the next video coming out shortly, uh, which will be lesson three. Where we're going to look at chord sequences and input in MIDI and using the drum machines and sounds that we've already got as well in uh, BandLab Sounds. So thank you very much guys, and I'll see you next time.